I first started, I, I, I delivered prescriptions on a bicycle. Uh, and uh, of course the town wasn't as large as it is now, and, and uh, I guess uh, it kept me out of trouble, so to speak. My father died when I was nine. My mother tried to operate the uh, hat clean shoe shop parlor, which was next door. Mr. Patterson, James A. Patterson, who owned the drugstore, uh, took me under his wing and sort of brought me over and I started working as delivery guy. And then after a few years, I graduated to the soda fountain. Uh, so between Mr. Patterson and my mother uh, and a bicycle and grade school, uh, that's what I did in my younger years. Stewart's been here, what, some 85 plus years. Uh, people always ask, well, how do you stay in business? So many small independents are closing up. I said, well, I, I guess because of the service. I, I think uh, service is a key to our operation. Oh, I love it here. Yeah, I love the older way of doing things. Quite frankly, uh, some people come in just do not have the money to pay for their copay. And uh, I have a policy here that if it's an indigent individual cannot find funds and it's a medically necessary drug, we just go ahead and give that drug to that individual, that family. Children with antibiotics, parents just don't have the money. We just go ahead and do it and, and take the loss. Most drugstores in the past 50 years, I think, have remove their soda fountain. This soda fountain is unusual because of the marble top that it, it has. And I've been told, we were written up in a national pharmaceutical magazine some years ago. And one of the pharmacists is also, I guess, in the granite business, but he says it's priceless. He said, whatever you do, do not sell it. Well, I need to say I had no intention to sell it. I guess years upon years and day in and day out, there used to be a group of business people, professional people, every morning would come in to have coffee. And they would take care of the world problems and discuss the affairs of sports, politics, health, anything. And you could always set your clock by them. Hopefully we'll be here for another 80 plus years, 85 plus years.